This is the gate that we'd see this mare do if we were going to trail ride, go out in the woods. This is what she does on her own. We see the bend of the knee and the front foot going forward just before it's placed down on the ground. Then we see this mare engaging her hind quarters with that stride up under herself, with that set to her hocks. We want to see that back foot push up under the horse and set down right up there next to that front foot. This mare does a great job at that. Even though this is still what we refer to as a lateral gait, a lateral gait, which means it's a more side-to-side -side gait, if we notice when Susan comes around, we want the legs on the same side to move at the same time. But what we do is through the timing on this mare, on getting her to a more vertical headset, combined with our shoeing, we want that two-beat lateral gait, which is referred to as a pace, to turn it into a four-beat gait, which the back foot on the same side hits the ground just one second before the front foot. That gives us the length of stride that we're looking for, and that, above all, gives us a smooth ride. Okay, any four-beat gait, which a beat is defined as when that hoof lands on the ground or strikes the ground. This mare, the time that it takes for all four legs to move and to strike the ground, each foot sets separately, so it makes it four beats. Any four beat gait is going to be smooth. So we take a two beat lateral gait, which is the pace, we make it still a lateral gait, but we allow the horse to sit down with a four beat rhythm that makes it a smooth gait. If you notice, Susan sitting in the saddle is not bouncing around. Okay, Susan, if you will, park in for us. With a one inch turn back, as referred to in the light shot shoe as well, that's called the cock. Okay, with a one inch turn back. So we're going to put the park pleasure shoe where the light shot shoe is and take that off. And we want to watch this mare increase with the head shake, the movement up front, and the stride behind. So while now, if you remember on Dust Bunny, we showed you the light shot horse at first. Now we're going to show you the park pleasure horse. And we want to see an in increase in animation, stride behind, and of course that all important head shape. Same horse. And what you're looking at is roughly about mm, an average of a pound and a half to two pounds of weight difference. If you notice the head shape, the bending of the knee, stepping off the ground from the forehand, and the front leg going forward, we call that reach. And then you really see this horse engage her hindquarters and use that crooked, so to speak, back leg to stride up under her. We never want the gait to change. We always want the horse shaking its head, using the forehand, and engaging the hindquarters. It doesn't matter what division, the greater the animation that the horse possesses, then the increase in the division that the horse has put. She still has the same gait, 
that she showed and with the light shot shoe or the same way of movement but just with the weight we show you an increase in the head shake in the action up front and then the stride behind now we're going to get ready to put a build up and an action device on this mare we're going to take the park pleasure shoe off and go with a with the build up the build up's going to raise her off the ground up front and give her a longer front leg by about three inches on the average we're not going to change the angle of the hoof we're going to maintain the natural angle of the hoof itself which is about 40 i think it was if i remember correctly she's around a 47 degrees now we're going to increase the weight the weight's going to go up this shoe's going to weigh just under four pounds so it's going to go about anywhere from three and a half to four pounds now we're going to show you a padded horse we put the build up on her and we have an action device that weighs two ounces. So as our rider's preparing the saddle and getting ready to ride. Again, we're looking for an increase in the animation with the forehand, the bending of the knee and reaching. Then we want the horse to stride up under herself and engage those hind quarters even more than what we saw as a park pleasure. And we also want to see that increase in that head shake. And that's a two ounce action device. Slow down a little bit, Susan, slow down. Oh, well, it could spin in trouble if that's a bit of <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, that's a good one. You know what? Oh, well, she's never beat, was she? Yes, sir. Did she ever beat? Uh, only a couple times. That's the kind, that one right there is. Yes, sir. Same kind. Keep going. Nice and easy flat walk. Come on up, Susan, turn her loose a little bit. Come on up. Now, right there. Now, Susan, park in, if you will, and I'm gonna replace that two ounce chain with a six ounce chain. And we're gonna go up in our, in, our animation level. Now we have a six ounce chain on this mare. Good, Susan, right there with the pads and the action devices on. That head set more vertical and upward. We really see the angle of the, of the placement of the neck and the shoulder working together right there to give us that placement. And really being the show horse that has become infamous with our padded horse or our performance horse that we see in the show ring.